so annoying. So I'm just going to sort myself out whilst he's uh, enjoying that I'm there for now. Good. I look a bit rough, not going to lie. So I just thought because, I'm not going to lie, obviously this video is like plan future videos. But at the moment, I have not planned for tonight's video. And to also celebrate us hitting 7.5k, which is just amazing, um, I thought I'd come on and do a little live. Let's kind of tidy in some stuff away. Hi, Amber. Oh, God, let's just shook a little bit. Amber, my tops just came for Harley Quinn. Let me show you. I'll show you. Da 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 da! Ooh, sugar, not gonna finger. Look, I really like it. I just need to wait for like the leggings and jacket to come to see how it looks all together. So actually, uh, I got my Amazon Prime for like next day delivery. I need to go to Primark. I haven't been to Primark for so long. Hi, Angel. Hello. So I just thought I'd do a live because, hello. Um, I actually haven't planned enough for this video tonight and to also just celebrate us hitting 7.5k because that's just like mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. I've actually just ordered myself a new planner as well. So um, I'll show you that when it arrives or I'll add like a, Kind of like another leafy pattern planner. This is my current planner that I use. Oh god, it just looks like this. And I got this in Hobbycraft and it was reduced to like six pounds. Like it was such a good bargain. Um, and what I really liked about it was the fact that it didn't have any dates in it. It was like kind of one where you write in the dates yourself. So I've got these little YouTube stickers that I stick on, which just look like this. I got these off eBay for like dirt cheap. I've also got blogger ones, which I never ever put stuff on my website. I have a little bit recently, but not that often. Um, so yeah, I've kind of this is this has been the whole setup for Vlogtober. Um, so we're kind of this is where we're going to be now. So tonight's video should have been a last minute Halloween look. I'm just scared of that email. Um, but obviously I haven't planned ahead. Woohoo! <laughs> um, so I just thought I'd do a live and I thought I'd plan some stuff. Amber, if you're still in this chat, remember our video is going live on Sunday this week, just to remind you. Hello everyone. If you have any questions, by the way, please leave some questions. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. I just got a iced coffee. Yeah, I mean, Amber have a collab coming up um, on Sunday this week. So that's the only, that and a Foundation Friday is the only video that I've got pre-filmed at the moment. So I need to, after I've done this, um, I need to film a video for Wednesday. So if you've got any suggestions on what video you'd like to see on Wednesday, then please leave them in this chat. Yeah, um, if you do have any club ideas for me and Amber, then please do let me know. I feel like I'm way too close to this, to this, um, to this camera. If you have any kind of suggestions that you want me and Amber to do, then please let us know. I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to flip yours. Like that. Oop, no, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. No, because now it's gone zoomed in. There we go. No. There we go. I just kept it how it was because that just wasn't working. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of thinking like, what should I do for November's videos? What should I do for Vlogmas? I am really, really, really wanting to do Vlogmas and actually do it properly where you do a video every single day leading up to Christmas. I've actually booked <laughs> the South Side I've actually booked a week off in November, especially to do like to pre-film for Vlogmas. It's just me, I just this is like really zoomed in. 
must be all right. It must be how it's meant to be. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I really want to do Vlogmas and to do that, I'm going to have to prep like well and truly in advance to do 25 videos. Um, but I'll show you where I'm at with November 1st because I haven't even gotten to um, Vlogmas. That's why I've ordered a new planner because after November, which this is um, for November's month, after November, I actually don't have any months left in my diary. So I need to obviously start using my new one that arrives and I've personalised it as well. So it's got my name on it and my initials. It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> um, that's what I've spent my day at work doing, but don't tell my boss. <laughs> So I'm kind of working out like, how often should I upload now? My channel's doing really, really well. It isn't realistic for me to actually stick to doing a new video every two days because I work full time. If any of you have watched me for a while, I work full time for drug and alcohol service as a recovery coordinator. So helping people on their alcohol um, and drug journey, um, whatever that may be for them. So it's not realistic at all for me to actually upload every two days. So I was thinking, what's going to be realistic where you're just still getting enough content out of me, um, but I'm not going to burn out. So I think I'm going to go back to what I used to do back in the day is upload every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So I organised that. So I put that all in, all in my diary. So this is like my little monthly view. Um, and then obviously every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, I put my little my little stickers in and then I'm going to be doing a series in the middle of November um so on the third is it the third week on the 11th of November um which is technically kind of the third week um in November I'm going to be doing a collection series so for five days um Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I'm going to upload a different video each day showing a different part of my makeup collection I'm not ready to do a full overall makeup collection video yet i just yeah i'm just not <laughs> everything needs sorting out and, and honestly i needed to clip i declutter everything and just get rid of loads of stuff and donate stuff and sell stuff and yeah so i'm actually going to do each video and um, it's going to be focusing on a different part of my collection so day one is going to be a foundation collection um blusher collection highlighter collection eyeshadow collection and an eyelash collection if you have like a specific part of my makeup that you really really wanted me to like go into and delve into then please leave a comment on here or message me on instagram or snapchat or whatever um and i'll honestly like write down your suggestions and see like what comes up the most popular and do that instead um so yeah i've kind of been thinking like what kind of videos will people want in november um so if you have any kind of feedback or anything that you've particularly liked in october that you want me to do again obviously i will be going through as well all of the suggestions that you put in for the giveaway as well which is still running by the way if you want to enter it the link is down below and um, there's three winners three prizes for grabs i'll actually show you quickly show you the bags i won't show you what's in them but i've got them just stashed underneath my desk so we have this large bag up for grabs filled with goodies and we have this medium bag up for grabs, once again, filled with goodies, you can see in that one. And then we also have this little one up for grabs, filled with goodies. <laughs> you kind of guess the ending. Um, so yeah, don't, don't forget to go into that. You can enter as many, as many, many times as you want. As long as it's a meaningful comment. Um, I want to see how you organise your stuff. Are you wanting to see like how I organise my makeup? What part of my makeup would you like to see? Or you want to see how I organise stuff to film videos? Like, what specifically do you want? Do you want to see? Um. So I've also thought about different ideas for November. So I'm thinking like, um, doing another fall makeup look, like fall slash autumn, but this time doing it more like reds and oranges because I feel like that was something that I'm missing in October. Um, I'm definitely going to do some more face mask Fridays because they're so easy to film and. Um, obviously it's like a nice little pamper for myself as well and I've kind of took your um, comments into consideration already for my um, giveaway video because most of you are actually coming and asking for a skincare routine which I can't believe like he's actually <laughs> asking me for a skincare routine because I just don't really do anything skincare wise um, but I will do like a skincare routine for you there's not really much to it because I'm really naff when it comes to looking after my own skin and taking my makeup off and stuff so but i'll do it for years anyways 
Um, I'm going to do a full face of Benefit as well. Benefit very, very kindly. I don't know if I'll be able to grab it. Mm, no, that's not it. I've just got bags and boxes and parcels all around me, just like filled with stuff that I need to like do videos for. It's underneath my ring light over here. So, um, Benefit very kindly sent me across their new foundation, um, new powder, and then also the new brow product as well. So, this is the <laughs> Benny Babe. I'm going back to my roots, I am. But <laughs> um, so, this is the Flawless Brightening Foundation, and then the shade 2. And then they've also sent me the powder, the Velvet Powder Foundation, which just reminds me of them little, is it Bien Biscuits, where they had the little smiley faces on? It just reminds me of that. Once again, the shade 2. And then I also need to try this, which is the new Brow Styler. It just looks like this. And this is in the shade 3, which is Warm Light Brown. And it has, like, I haven't even opened this yet. Like, that's how, that's how much I've just been uh, all over the place. Um, so on one end, we have the little brow um, pencil. Can you flip my word out then? And then the other end, there's like a brow powder, which is so weird. It's just whatever you're there. <laughs> Don't shake it like that. <laughs> I know it definitely is a roll swap, isn't it? Amber, when are you, at, are you at work this weekend? I'll come see you. Oh, good. Even Saturday or Sunday. Because I'll come see you. So yeah, that's like another one that I have to do a video on. Um, I actually want to do, and I've had a couple of you ask me for it as well. I want to do like a morning or like nighttime routine or something like that. Not like just something super chill kind of thing. Should I come see you at work on Saturday? Saturday! Yeah. Let's do that. I don't think I've got... I'm looking for my phone. I'm filming on it. Um, oh, do you know what? I think I actually am, I'm in town on Saturday anyway. Was it Sunday? I think it's Saturday. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I know that I'm in town this weekend because I need to get um a contact lens check. So I'll come see you. So I haven't even got like that far ahead to even think of Vlogmas yet, but I kind of worked out like I need to have 16 videos for the whole of November and I've got 14 video ideas so far um, and then I just need two more video ideas. So I'll let you know what I've got so far just in case you ask for anything and I've already got it wrote down. So I've got my four makeup look, orange and red eyeshadow kind of look. Um, foundation Friday on that ABH, like that Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation, which I'm so excited to try. I'm going to do two face mask Fridays. Um, I'm going to do a clothing haul because I've picked up some really nice stuff recently. I got myself a new coat, um, a new bag, a new scarf, new shoes, new bottoms, um, a new dress. Like I've I picked up some really nice stuff recently, which is quite rare for me, clothes-wise. Normally, I just order it and then send it all back. Um, I'm going to do a skincare routine. I also want to do a video, which is such like a random one, and I don't know if I ever saw anybody do this before. But I'm going. I want to organise part of my room. So, like the first one that I really want to do is organise my coat. I have like this weird thing of having like a million one different coats. So I want to be able to go through all my coats and. Like, try them on. Is this even nice anymore? Is it rubbish? Can I bin it? What am I keeping? And it's kind of like a bit of like a capsule wardrobe, but not really because I'm still a bit of a harder. <laughs> um, but also like, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, should I do a video on that? Because I literally have no more room for um, coats in my bedroom. Obviously, I've just bought a new coat, so I need to like sort that out. So that's another one. Oh, did she? Oh, I don't think I saw that one. But yeah, I thought it would be something. I wonder if I have saw it. I don't know. Um, but I just thought to kind of sort my life out <laughs> in a way. Um, so that's what I've got so far. And then I've also got 
Um, I got sent this like fragrance set, so I'm gonna do it. Oh god, something in my hair. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Then the full face of benefit video, and then obviously foundation collection, blusher collection, highlight collection, eyeshadow collection, eyelash collection, and the eyelash collection is one that like I'm a bit nervous to share with you because Amber will know I have a lot of eyelashes. It's excessive. No one needs that many eyelashes. Like, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of dull beauty eyelashes and it's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just need two more video ideas for November and then I need to start planning for Vlogmas. And I really want to do some advent calendar unboxing, but I don't know what ones to get. There hasn't really been many that have kind of like really captured me and thought, oh my God, like I need to get that. That hasn't, the only one that's kind of made me feel a bit like that is the Profusion one, which is like 30 quid in boots. Um, but apart from that, none of them have really... Like, have you used saw anybody um, do videos on advent calendars and you thought they're really good? Like, I was going to get the Shark Tilbury one, but it's like 150 quid. Like, so expensive for advent calendar. And then most of it's skincare anyway. And if you know me, then I'm not a big skincare person regardless. So, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. My new planet is like amazing though. Like I can't wait to share it with you. It's so it's like, and it was hard because they had the planet in like the like dark gold leaf kind of design, which is like totally my thing. Like it matches my bedding, um, matches like my pictures in my boy my bedroom and stuff. But they also had a Lion King one. I was like, oh my god, I actually love Lion King. But I just decided to go with the leaf one. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about the next one. I don't know if I feel like it's worth worth the money. I was being fascinated by the Body Shop one. However, I've never been into skincare either. Yeah, me too. Like Body Shop always have like three different ones, don't they? And obviously they vary in price. But I'm not a big, like Body Shop are really big for like body butters and lotions and foot creams. And I'm not, I'm not into any of that. So it would just be a waste for me, but they do look really good. I know they have um like this butterfly in the body shop. Lauren was showing me at work today and it's like a tenner and it has five different lip balms in it, which I thought was quite cute if you like you were a big lip balm person. But I'm like so lazy when it comes to skincare, like I just couldn't justify spending it on the body shop. The only like, kind of skincare that I reach for at the, like at the moment is Pixie. Like I always have these stashed in my like everyday draw and i just love them like i've got the glow tonic just looks like this which is just obviously an absolute staple so i think my, my voice is going a bit i've got the glow tonic serum as well the glow tonic cleansing gel and then the um on the glow multi-use moisture stick which i actually really like and i like this a lot for my brows I mean, i've had my brows laminated recently um so i quite like putting that through my brows when or oh, I've been using this oil. This is the Define Intervention Time Bomb um, branded oil, but that's really expensive. I got that sent to me. I don't think I'd pay that because it, it's really expensive. <laughs> um, I really want to try Pixie, but it's rather expensive in my opinion, but it has great reviews, so maybe I'll try it. It actually is really, really good, and I do think it's a bit on the pricey side. Like I remember like this glow tonic is one that I bought. Like You can see like it's kind of wearing off. But this is um, this is one that I bought when I went to London. My first time ever going to London. I went to go. I went with my best friend Hannah. We went to go see um, Wicked at the West End, and it was our first trip to London. And I always, always, always wanted to try the Pixie Glow Tonic, and I could never find it anywhere in stores because it wasn't like in Max and Spencer's back then, as far as I was aware, anyway. Um, and I remember being in Topshop, and they had it in Topshop on Oxford Street and um, honestly this is must be absolutely years ago because I'm not even friends with Hannah anymore now like just such a long time ago um I don't even know if I was in um, YouTube all that much at that time like I was still being doing it but I wasn't like into it like I am now um and I remember like paying 18 pound for it and being like this better better work and this is the same bottle like I know it's disgusting that's the same bottle but like it's my face I'm not really bothered um but it's amazing. Obviously, this bottle hasn't lasted me all them years. Let's just be serious about that. Um, it's just because I'm lazy and don't use it. But 
I do use it especially like on my nose. I get like really, really flaky nose, really, really dry skin. I kind of get it, oh, I've just made a horrible noise, sorry. Um, I kind of get it on my brows when I have my brows waxed. I get really, really dry, flaky skin as well. And I just literally put that in a cotton pad and just put it all over, wipe it all over my skin and it just gets rid of the dry skin. It's really good. Um, oh, where's my comments gone? There we go. Um, here in Philippines, I've never seen that brand. I wonder if they don't have it in Philippines. I wonder if you can get it delivered there, but then is it going to cost loads to get it shipped across? Like, that's the only bad part about when you're getting stuff from other countries. How long have you been doing YouTube? God, Lily, I've been doing it for... God, I think I was like last year of school when I first started doing it. I've never done it consistently. That's always been my problem is I've never done it consistently. And I think that's what's let me down over this over the years because I kind of dipped and dabbed in between it all. But I remember definitely being... 16 when I started doing YouTube and I'm like 24 now <laughs> so yeah but I started off I remember I started off with like this little tiny camera and you had to put batteries in it to charge it up um, and like I'm from a single mum background like the only time that I could ever film a video is when mum could afford to buy me new batteries and then sometimes that wouldn't be for months and months and months and months and months, and months um, because obviously she's a single parent and holding down a house all by herself by her at the time Whoops. Hello. <laughs> Did you see what happened there? That was fucking hilarious. Sorry, I shouldn't swear, but like that was actually hilarious. Um, so as I was trying to say, obviously my mum was like a single mum. She was trying to like hold down. I was trying to sort my camera out. Um, she was trying to hold down like a house and everything. Um, as well as like paying for all the other stuff that I I was trying to keep up with all my friends with. This camera angle's a lot better since it's fell, like, what's all that about? Um, so, yeah, like, it was only whenever my mum could afford new batteries and when she would get me them from B&M because they were cheaper there and she wouldn't be able to afford them in the normal shops, etc. Um, so I never really stuck to it. Like, it was never something that I kind of dedicated myself to. And I wish I did because I feel like I'd be in a totally different place right now. But everything happens for a reason. Um, and I feel like now we're starting to, like, pick up um, the pace of YouTube. So, um, I started YouTube at 15. I need to be careful touching this phone now because I've just like that fell, and then I've got like my tripod that it's resting on with my camera, like my vlog camera, and that just fell on my face. I need to be careful. Mm. Um, I started YouTube at 15, but have been super inconsistent. As it's hard by the time to film and edit on top of school, like that was exactly me, and like obviously back then like internet wasn't as good like it didn't, back then like internet wasn't as good like it didn't upload as quick um obviously my editing software was naff um yeah like it, it, I think it's just hard when you've got like I've gone through like uni well I've gone through college uni like my degree and also my master's or like whilst doing youtube on the side so at the end of the day like I was building a career youtube wasn't wasn't my career so I was building a career in psychology so if that meant that i had to drop doing youtube commitments then i had to drop doing youtube, mm -hmm. YouTube equipment do you know what i mean my sister just messaged me um hello welcome welcome to my channel <laughs> um but yeah i just i think it's hard when you've like got education along the side of doing this because this is a massive commitment like i think this is a bigger commitment than having a blog for instance like it's so much more time consuming. To, like I think like you need more equipment for it. Like I just I don't know. I think it's just totally different kettle of fish. It's it's something that you have to be passionate about. Otherwise, like it's it's just not going to work. <laughs> it's true, Amber, isn't it? Like it's just like I see like I'm in quite a few different um YouTube like small YouTuber groups on Facebook. And the amount of people that I see like putting on saying like, how can I get subscribers quick? How can I get views quick? I need to make sure that I get to 4,000 um, hours of views or whatever it is. And then 1,000 subscribers so that I can start getting paid from YouTube. And it's like, yeah, you might hit that threshold and then start getting paid from YouTube, but like you might be earning a pound a month. Like be realistic with it. If it's not something that you're passionate about, then you ain't going to do it for the long term because you try to do it for money and that's never a good incentive for anything. So what is the point? Like you're just wasting your time for something that might only earn you pennies in the, in, in the long run. Like I spend 
still now, like obviously I'm not the smallest, smallest YouTuber, but I'm also not, I don't count myself as a medium YouTuber because I've only got like 7.5. Um, but I'm still earning pennies from YouTube and I earn, I spend more on YouTube a month and it'd be like the most underpaid job ever if this was not my job because I wouldn't be able to survive on it. <laughs> Like, it just wouldn't be possible. So I think you have to be passionate about it. Um, oh, I do psychology. I'm doing my A-levels at the moment, psychology, sociology, criminology. Ooh, that's exciting. I did, for me, levels I did psychology, sociology, and health and social care. And then I did philosophy and ethics for my, why is that I keep, like, sticking? And then I did philosophy and ethics for my AS level um, and didn't carry that on. So do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy doing psychology and that? Like, what do you want to do? What's, what's your future goal? What's, what's kind of, what's the end plan if you have one? Because I don't even think I had an end plan when it when I was doing my year levels. I just said, I want to do something to help people. That was just what I wanted to do. It's hard work. Like, it so is. Um, it took me ages to get paid for the first time on, for YouTube. I know <laughs> and I think what people don't realize as well like who hit the threshold and then think that they're going to earn loads of money straight away um you have to actually hit 60 pound before you even get paid out on YouTube so like you might think oh well I'm going to be earning money but yeah but when you hit 60 quid like if you are earning I don't know a pound a month it's going to take you 60 months to, to actually get paid anything that's a long time and a lot of commitment for something for 60 quid like 60 months worth of work for 60 quid like if somebody offered you that as a job offer you'd tell them to do one <laughs> in a polite way <laughs> putting it you know what i mean i still can't believe that the fact that that phone just fell and like the camera just full on whacked me in the head <laughs> I love this because I've got the house to myself and on Monday, I used to do late on a Monday so I'd be at work till half seven um, and I've got the house to myself because Minnie's at football and obviously my mum's took her. So it's just quite nice and peaceful, quite nice to um, chillax as well. Oh, I need to wash my makeup brushes as well. I'm being so lazy about washing them, like ridiculously lazy. Like I've got little cactus ice cubes as well. How cute. Um, I've also filmed two videos recently with my nail lady. So I'll show you. These are my new nails. Like how beautiful are my new nails? Like I absolutely love them. Um, and we filmed two videos together. Um, we filmed a video of her. Because basically I got sent a big um, like starter kit from Sensation Nails. I got sent that to me and I... I got that sent to me I got that sent to me that sentence was so bodged um so I got that sent to me which is so kind of them but I thought you know what my nail I always get my nails done by my nail lady I've started getting my toes done by her now so I literally don't have any nails to test this out on um and to see what it's like and I thought I'm probably not the best person to give an opinion on this because I'm um, obviously I know it's a starter kit but like I don't have a clue what I'm doing so I thought if it's good like and I mean like Good, like not just good for starters and people that are just getting into nail stuff and don't have a clue what they're doing or whatever. I mean, if it's really, really, really good, then a professional's gonna like it. So that's what we filmed. We filmed Marta doing her own nails, so it's her own experience of her onto her natural nails of trying, of trying the sensation nails, start it out. So we've done that, filmed that, and we also filmed the process of me getting my eyebrows laminated as well, which is like LVL. So I don't know if you're able to tell this one's messed up because <laughs> life. <laughs> um, but I have kind of had my, I don't know how I feel about it. And I've said this to Marta, like, I don't know if I like it, if I don't like it. I don't know how I feel yet. <laughs> so I'm just kind of waiting to like, get an opinion on it. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do when I'm older, but I'd like to put in mental health as that field lacks a lot of workers. That's um, the field that I used to work in. So Lily, I think you probably know anyway, Lily, to be fair, because you've been watching my channel for quite a while now. Um, but for anybody that doesn't know of Lily 
isn't aware. Um, I worked for Mind, which is obviously the mental health charity. And I was uh, my first job out of my master's, like out of uni, my first like proper job in psychology was um, working for Mind for their carer service. So it was basically helping and supporting somebody who cared for somebody else with a mental health diagnosis. Um, I absolutely loved it. It made me like that job. Um, introduced me to like the probably one of the best person like the best like person I've ever ever met um Nicola who like I used to run the service with so there was two of us running the full service and um, we didn't have a service manager at the time and they weren't recruiting into it because we were up for tender and if anybody doesn't really know what that means it basically means that you kind of like apply not you personally the company that you work for kind of put a bid in and kind of sell themselves to commissioners for the commissioners to then give them money for the project or the service to continue working um, and you kind of show them like this is the impact the service has made this is the impact that it's made on service users and um, this is how it's improved blah blah blah, blah whatever your goals are um, and unfortunately we didn't get the funding for that so um, we I think I will be there for I think I started oh, I must have started in November or yeah I must have started in October, November, because I remember my first day being the day after Halloween and it being Laura's birthday and I had to go out the night before with her and not drink. And it was just like a weird night out to not like go out and not drink. It was a weird hours. Um, so that was what I did first. That was like helping people who cared from the with mental health diagnosis, kind of getting and showing them like about um, like the carer's allowance and what you're entitled to benefits wise also, but then also supporting them in the mental health side of it and just kind of being somebody for somebody for them to talk to because they're caring for somebody else. So always put themselves last um, and having to care, put somebody else's needs in front of their own. So it's kind of like to bring that back to them and remember like, actually, you are important in all of this as well. So that was my first one. And then my second job was working for Mind again, but working in the children's service, which I absolutely loved. Um, and that was as an emotional wellbeing practitioner. So that was basically helping children to kind of like regulate their emotions Um and kind of find the best it's like six weekly interventions sometimes it would expand expand to eight if that was what was best for the child or they'd get referred up to um like high mental health kind of stuff and um, kind of support like hams or whatever um so yeah that was um my second job and then obviously from that i left there and i've came to where i'm at the moment and i work for drug service but once again it's like massive mental health because drugs and alcohol and mental health just go hand in hand with each other um and there's such a big link in between it so I still kind of am working in the mental health side of it and yeah that that is kind of what I've and it's weird because when I was at doing my year levels when I um was at uni even when I was doing my masters like I did not know that this whole world of mental health like this whole field like working like for the care service for the children's service and especially for the drug and alcohol service like I didn't know like I think I was just so naive and so oblivious to it I didn't know it was a thing I didn't know like I didn't know like when I applied for the job at, um where I'm at now for the alcohol service like drug and alcohol service I only work with um like I work for the drug side of it um so my uh, mainly like uh, opiate clients people that are addicted to like heroin cocaine and um, cocaine codeine cocoa and all that kind of stuff um as well as any other substances that they're addicted to so it could be like cocaine crack um amphetamine anything like that basically um but i didn't think that my background and like what i did at uni or anything like that would like get me a job like where i'm at now i never thought that was a thing and the stuff that i've learned being at C like at CGL where I work now, the stuff that I've learned and the amount that I've developed as a person and in my practice, um, like just professionally and just in personal life as well. Like my um I've I've just massively, massively developed and it's I'm actually so thankful for for CGL for that. Really, really am. Like working with addiction is like just totally different kettle of fish and it's just so I don't know. I like it, <laughs> put it nicely. But honestly, like 
I remember thinking when I did my master's, I remember thinking like, how am I going to get a job? Like we're all applying for the same jobs. Like how is this possible? Like there's people that have done like the degrees that will be applying for the same job and they've been out of uni for a year. So they've got experience and I don't like what's going to happen. And I just, yeah, I absolutely didn't understand how many jobs there are out there for people doing psychology, which is going to probably might pay some people off, but like I didn't realise, probably not necessarily how many jobs there for psych out there for psychology, but more I didn't realise how far psychology could take you, like how far across the field it could take you. So it could take you from one thing, from children's services to drug services. It could take you from that to um domestic violence services and um, like domestic abuse services. Like the possibilities are endless with it. I'm just gonna see what time we're on. I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and I think I'm going to get myself off because I'm going to have to film a video off <laughs> ready for Wednesday and I don't have a clue what I'm going to film. If you have any suggestions on what video you want to see for Wednesday, particularly one that is one that I can film right now and is quite quick to film and isn't going to take me ages to edit because I'm going to have to do it all. Um, I do need to do a video actually unboxing. I got sent this protein um, stuff. Get it without revealing my address. That would be that would be pretty awesome. So yeah, from the company Neat. Let's check out another that has my address in that one. Um, so they've sent me like across two different boxes, um, for the protein powder, which is really good because I want to get back into going to the gym. Um, I actually had <laughs> planned to go to the gym tonight, but then I thought actually I need to do this live video. Um, so use my excuse why I haven't got to the gym tonight, and I don't mind that is my excuse. Um, so they have like different subscription boxes. I need to look into it already to film a video. Um, but yeah, I've been sent this version of it where you get like the ten. I think you get ten or twelve sachets, and they sent me across a mixture of them. So there's like vanilla in here and chocolate as well which i like like i'm i'm such a person who loves like strawberry but i really don't like strawberry um flavored protein stuff like it just isn't my thing at all and then the other one looks like this and this one is like i think this is like the actual starter kit yeah i think so and then the other one is like a top up when you want top ups and i like the fact that it comes in little sachets and um, obviously not the best for the environment unless it's biodegradable which I highly doubt it will be um but I love the fact that like I can just literally shove this in a bag after um like before I go to work or after work and I can have this after a workout so this one has a mixture of the vegan sachet and also um the normal one so we've got a chocolate and vanilla one um for normal and chocolate and vanilla for the um vegan one and then it comes with a little shape as well which I think is so cute I really like the colour of it. Oh, it's actually the match brand planner, which is really sad, but also like really cute. And it just looks like this. So I think tomorrow's not tomorrow, not tomorrow. The next day, Wednesday's video might be showing you like what these are, what these are all about, all these um, protein subscription boxes. So and I hope it's nice because I'm so. If you've watched me for years, like back when I lived with Blake. Um, I used to try protein shakes and I was so fussy, like ridiculous. Like there used to be ones that Blake like, oh my God, like you will love this. I have no doubt that you will love this. And like, mm. um, especially like more, not necessarily more the protein shake than anything else, more so like protein bars. And I was like, I don't like it. It's not for me. Um, so I am a bit fussy when it comes to that kind of stuff. So hopefully this is nice. Fingers crossed. Just putting these away. But I like that it comes with like little recipes as well. Little apple pie oats. Like I am not <laughs> something I'm gonna sound like such a negative Nancy, but I am not like a warm apple gal. I'm really not. That's not I'm not about that life. <laughs> I'm not like a apple pie kind of gal. Just not really. This is not really for me. It's not my thing. I'm trying to think what else do I want to show you whilst I've got these here. Um I'll show you that. This is that Bear and Bond fragrance description box. Oh, do you know what? I haven't actually opened this myself because the packaging is so pretty. I wanted to film it, like me opening it on camera. Okay, I can't show you that. I apologise, I apologise. <laughs> Anything else I want to show you? 
I'm trying to think. I've got some absolute bargains from Superdrug recently. Do you want me to show you what I picked up? Leave a little comment, give a little thumbs up. If you want me to? Because I've picked up some some good bargains. I had a little look today as well whilst I was on my lunch and I couldn't really find anything that I really wanted. So I didn't pick anything up today because I was being good. I was being good. Let me just grab them. Right, let's go through. Because some of these are for giveaways as well, so you're getting you're getting a sneak peek into what's going to be in future giveaways as well. So I picked up this for 50p. This is for myself. And this has the Superdrug Naturally Radiant Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser inside. So it has the cleanser and then also the cloth. And obviously it's reduced because it's got the tonic missing. So it was only 50p instead. I've got absolutely loads of these mirrors. Let me just grab them. them all out. Yeah. So I picked up one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I picked up nine of these little pocket mirrors because they were only three p, like three p. And I thought I could give these. I put these in for future giveaway, and I could give them to like every single prize. That's and like I'm gonna put a new giveaway up in um, the beginning of November to celebrate us hitting seven point five k. So keep your eyes peeled for that because there will be some of them in it. I also picked up like some vitamins, which is like such a random thing. My other bag has a vitamin in it as well, but they were reduced. So I've been loving them recently. So I thought, well, <laughs> why not? Let me just get everything out. Mm. So the mirror was, like I said, three pink. And then I picked up some of these. So I've got one of them at work. These are the multivitamin orange flavor, one a day, everyday wellbeing tablets. So they're basically like barocas, but we got the price tag. Um, and these were reduced to 20p each, which is absolutely crazy. So I've got three of them. Like I said, I've got one at work. I've actually had one today as well. Um, the make you pay like so orangey yellow. So just bear that in mind. Don't worry if you go to the toilet and it's like really bright. Um, and then I also picked up these. These are the Iron FE Plus Voost Iron and Vitamin C Raspberry Flavor Tablets. I haven't actually tried these yet. And these just look like this and these were 30p each and i thought oh my god that'll give me some energy which i'm very grateful for and then i picked up some hair clips as well so these were reduced to one pound 50 and then they were also reduced to 30p as well so is that right yeah 30p so I ended up buying all of that for £2.47, which is just absolutely crazy. Crazy! And then, let's get this bag out, because this bag has some goodies in as well. I'm going to do a full video actually showing you what, what I've bought recently. But I thought for those of you who are interested whilst I'm doing the live, then I'll put it all together for now so i'm gonna put these back in here like, i'm absolutely loving like amber has just ignited a bargain hunter inside of me like i've always been a bargain hunter because my mum and dad have always been bargain hunters because we've had to be um but yeah i'm just like uh, i love a bargain <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> so this bag of stuff came up to four pound 81 so the first thing that I picked up, these were reduced to 99p and then they were also buy one get one half price. When I um buy one get one half price. As he has charged me. Oh I don't know. I don't know if he's charged me or hasn't charged me for this, like I couldn't work it out. I think he has i don't know um but these are basically from the brand b which is super drugs on brand and this is meant to be an airbrush base sculpt effect sponge and i liked it because it looks hairy which like is so good. it's got like little microfibers on it 
Um, and it says that it's um, an, uh, a bee sculpt affects when you an airbrushed base and it allows you to take that flawless base application to another level. The flat base has tiny hair fil filaments, filaments, which enhance the blending process of foundations or powders when used in circular motions. Like I thought that would be interesting to try. So I picked up some of them and I think when I try them in a video, I'll probably do a little mini giveaway or something for you guys. I also picked up these for a giveaway for you. So these are actually nail clippers, which is so weird, but they're actually like really, really cute ones. And these were due to 74p, but they'll also buy one, get one half price. So I picked up four of them for future giveaway prizes. And then again, I picked up four things for, which I know Amber got in her um, haul as well. And I picked up these little nail files and these are reduced to 10p each. So obviously they're only 40p for all four. One to give me, you guys. I picked up another hair clip one because they had another one gone anyway. So I picked up um, one of them. And then the last thing that I picked up in the reduced section was these little like multivitamin gummies, um, cherry, berry and orange natural flavour. And these were reduced from £6.49 to 60p. So I thought, oh, I'll give them a try because why not? They go out of date um, the 16th of November. So I'm going to leave them on my desk so I start using them otherwise they're going to go out of date. <laughs> but yeah, that is like all the bargains that I've picked up in Superdug recently. I will do like a full video of going through it all. Um, but yeah, absolutely bargains. Like filled to the brim and I spent like maybe £7 and all of that. Like you just literally can't, you can't say no, can't say no. But yeah, I'm going to get going. I think I might film, I don't know what I'm going to film. Kind of died. I'll film something. <laughs> I already felt Wednesday's video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to enter my giveaway. Like I said, there's three prizes up for grabs. Um, seven point five thousand of us, and let's see if we can hit eight thousand soon. Like, what the hell? Like I looked. Um, and I was comparing like subscriber growth from September to October. September, I gained thirty subscribers. And in October so far, I've gained over 450. Like, what? Like, I love yous. And thank you. <laughs> and there will be more giveaways coming, so don't forget to hit subscribe. But also enter the one that's live at the moment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you very much, and I shall see you in two days' time. Bye, guys. Oh, hello. Oh, I just want to say goodbye and you've popped in, Melissa. I love reduced vitamins as well. <laughs> um, love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.